From Las Vegas, it's Let's Talk News Now with Rick and Ella. And we are back again here at Let's Talk News Now. Kind of fun. Had Larry Mur- had Larry Murray on. Yes, Adam two, Flowers. From two to- well, see, Larry's from two tons, tons of fun, fun and entertainment. entertainment. <laughs> It's just Larry. It's just okay, it's Larry. Yeah. And Larry's a great guy. <laughs> and then we had Adam Flowers. Yep. Who, who made a bustle disappear. Yeah, he also he also put my cell phone into a balloon. There you go. Did you catch all that? I saw that. Yeah. I did. Okay. It's, it's I like, did. I saw the magic and now trick. I, now, I have the, now I have a picture of the inside of a balloon. I bet you don't have one of those. No, well, That'll go on my Facebook. Most of us don't. A must right. have. <laughs> That'll go on my Facebook. I don't know why Everyone, I just will. Everyone's going to try to be getting one now. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and we have Roche Davis back with us. Roche, yes. you know, a lot of times when we've, when we've spoken with you the first few times, it's always been these you know, very serious issues and so on. But I've come to find out hanging around with you on the set and all the practical jokes you've already played on everybody. <laughs> there you go. That she you don't have to much, be serious all the time, right? Yeah, a much, much lighter mm-hmm. side. Absolutely. Exactly. You Absolutely. just don't have to be serious all the time. Yes. We so need to have fun. I need to ask you a really overly sophisticated, really in-depth question here. Okay. Uh, you ready? Okay. Come on, pull out, yes. pull out the books. Absolutely. Here we go. Line them all up. Be prepared for this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even going to work, is it? <laughs> Kids who are in the public eye. Okay. That sometimes just has to be not only plain fun for the kids, simply just fun for the kids, mm-hmm. or at the same time, maybe a little embarrassing for the for the parents. Oh, well, absolutely. Because I kids mean, will be kids, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Kids will be the, say, do the darndest things. Here's what immediately comes to my mind. Kids that have embarrassed their parents. Right. Okay. I, well, aside yeah. from, I never did that. <laughs> I was I was a perfect child, um, but no. It's, I, I really think be. of like Al, Al <laughs> Gore's <laughs> Al Gore's daughters, you know, getting you know he's the vice president of the United States, mm-hmm. and the girls were not yet twenty one, yeah. and they were at a party where libations were being served, and, <laughs> and the place got raided. Libations, you know, and libations. all the girls libations were being served, and the place got raided, and of course it actually it actually became almost like a fisticuffs between the Secret Service and the I local law enforcement <laughs> like, uh-huh. on who had jurisdiction on the kids. Right. When things like this happen, is it just you just kind of chalk it up to kids will be kids and kids will do things? or how? Do I, well, I mean, absolutely. In our society, we definitely hold all of our celebrities, our influential people that we see on television to higher, higher standards. But at the end of the day, they are just people with children who are just children like yeah. all of us, you know. Um, it, so it does become more of a, of a spectacle when they're out doing things that just regular kids do all the time. Um, so I think, you know, we should just have a laugh at it and, and understand that they're just being kids. They'll grow out of it like yeah. we all did. <laughs> Well, is that, and, you know, <laughs> is, is that anything like Amy Carter when she was caught wiping her nose? You know, when, when you know one of her dad's speeches when he was president of the United States. I didn't see that. Yeah, well, I? well, neither one of you that at all. That's the reason. Okay, the that might be crew. before they my remember. time, but I, I didn't see that. But I mean, you know, that's a, a normal thing that normal people yeah, do. It is, it is. It is. I mean, think about like your time, as you were saying that the whole village pretty much raised the child. So if you did something. Yeah. A neighbor or an aunt would tell your mother this is 10 times worse because the neighbor is like four million people in a certain city that will tell your mother absolutely so, um, no it's 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 embarrassing for the parents <laughs> but it's a kid just do do you I, any additional pressure on a child or do you think there's kind of oblivious to it that their parents are in, in high profile positions whether they're actors or celebrities or politicians kids or whatever are they just kind of oblivious to it and kind of go I'm in my own space. That's your deal, Dad. You know, I, I think, of course, that they're they're aware of the, the differences between maybe their family and some of their schoolmates or whatever. But I do think that at the end of the day, it becomes a certain sense of normalcy, and they can't not be themselves just because they're in the public eye, which is why those behaviors come out. I mean, you can't not be yourself. Including you can't, rebellion. Yeah, you can't not be a kid, so. Speaking of rebellion, this was <laughs> of all time, this was one of my favorite uh, Michelle Obama stories. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. She told it on another talk show I was okay. watching. And she was saying that their eldest daughter, who is old enough to kind of understand about politics, um, you know, studying things like poli sci in school. Okay. Uh, wow. Actually, you know, when they sat down for dinner, 
due to a previous classroom discussion, actually started questioning her dad on a, on a position he had taken on a specific policy. I love that. Uh, all right. Policy, I don't recall, you know, but that, just the story alone was, was worth everything. Yeah, that is. You well, talk about a precocious child. Yeah. Well, well, they seem so good, because every time you see them in public, they're not making a fool of themselves or... They, they, the they seem to be very well yeah. put together and I'm sure with any pre, you know presidential family when you're in the White House you know you probably have a lot of coaching about things that yeah. you do and don't do when you're in the public eye so they seem to fall into that mold really well but that is a really funny story yeah. because I that kind of takes me back when I look back you know times I've questioned my dad about sure. different things we all you did. know I mean we all so did. I think that's just a, a reminder to us that kids will be kids as you, you said go. yeah and the, and the thing is and, 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 you know if children are actually smart to form their own questions to articulate them so yeah. i think that's absolutely great yeah i do too it is a monday we hope that you have a great week you have yourself a good day we'll see you tomorrow morning here on let's talk news now Yay. see you tomorrow morning <laughs>